After about 10 minutes, the president appeared behind about four Secret Service men and walked over to us and shook our hands. I said, Andrew believed in what he was doing by defending the Iraqi people from the insurgents. I got emotional and he put his arm around me and said, let's walk. Laura Bush came up right behind and hugged Sarah. He said, you have made a great sacrifice and I know your son served with great distinction. People will look back on this generation and say they brought democracy to the Middle East. I know we're doing the right thing over there. I hate that people have to die, but I don't have to tell you that. As he was talking, both he and Mrs. Bush had tears coming down their cheeks, and the president had his arm around my shoulder. Sarah said to him, Andrew had a motto he used with his unit before he went out, and it was strength and honor. I told the president, tell your critics there are still Marines that believe in those words and die for them. Andrew was my pride and joy, and the president said, of course he was. As you can imagine, I was crying throughout this conversation, and at the point I said to him, he was a sweet boy and a fine Marine. He pulled my head close to him and kissed me on the forehead. As he was beginning to walk away, Sarah and I both said, strength and honor, Mr. President, and he turned and said, strength and honor. As he walked out the airport door amid his entourage of Secret Service, he stopped as he got to the door, turned around, looked me right in the eye and waved. He showed us sincerity, compassion, and openly grieved with us in a hallway away from the cameras and politics and flags. Four people shedding cheers for a brave hero and a fine son. I will forever be grateful to him for that moment.